Yeah. Thank you. schedules up here to uh, check uh, you know for what's running when we're going to do uh, the Liberty liner as soon as everyone's done eating at around two o'clock I think 172 is going out before then you know for those that don't want to ride the liner or maybe get pictures of it at all top siding so um, check with the schedule on that to be sure um, Books in the museum store. Uh, Chuck has been the recipient of many used railroad and trolley books over the past couple of years. Uh, so check out the museum store for that. Uh, you know, if you want to update your library, things like that. So 
Um, Harry and the rest of the Philadelphia Trolleys are running a fan trip in Toronto as well. So if you want to go to Canada and uh, you know ride a, a PCC car up there and a CLRB. And, okay, so check with Harry Donahue on that. Friends of the Philadelphia Trolleys, of course, uh, benefited our museum or supported our museum in many ways with the restoration of uh, 2743, which is here somewhere. So, uh, and I'm sure it'll be out running later on as well. So, um, I was going to have a sign up sheet for pizza for dinner, uh, but looking at all the leftovers, I don't think that's necessary. So, uh, we're probably going to just, uh, we may have to invite people in to help eat the leftovers, but uh, so, you know, we'll probably just do leftovers for dinner. You know, as long as the weather holds out, we'll probably run to at least 8 or 9 o'clock tonight with other things whatever we can drag out. I think there's a talk of a caboose train with a Woo, diesel yeah. and stuff like that. So um, we got that. Check out all the different improvements that we've done here. Uh, Nicholas and Nevin and Charlie and a bunch of others at the ticket booth up at Meadow Street. Check out the progress on uh, the open car trucks. Uh, if you haven't been in the shop, you'll see the open car is not there, but the trucks are. So we're working on those. Uh, 315, of course. Lots of details there. Thanks to Mike Lawson and others on, on that progress there. Um, so check out all the improvements that you uh, may see have or that were here a year ago at this time. And of course the Car Barn edition out at uh, Car Barn 2, we have now put everything we own inside, which I don't believe is trivial. Uh, so keeping the cars protected inside out of the weather is a huge deal. So uh, with the building of the Car Barn edition two years ago, last year we built all the track into it. Uh, so, you know, we now have everything stored inside. So, what we're going to do now is everybody's name is in this bucket. This kitty litter bucket is not, uh, this is a very important bucket. So, we're going to ask Cheyenne to come up. Oh, you're here? <laughs> well, you can't wait. Okay. We're going to mix them all up here and pull out a name. And don't pull your own out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I pulled my name out. <laughs> Justin, where are you at? Uh, I think he went on the. He went out on the car. He went out okay. on the car. Um... All right. Well, we'll see if Justin, I think, would want to run the liner. So he gets his choice of outbound or inbound, since his is the first name pulled. Philip. Oh. You want to run the liner? That's a yes. Right? Is that a yes? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, Cheyenne. Um, We're going to have to change to operate. Yeah. I'll just I'll do. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll talk to Justin. I'm pretty sure he'll want to run it. So uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you for your support. Uh, we talked about doing a free meal for all the members because we have a lot of volunteers, but we're always in the market for more. Uh, the volunteers that come and work hard here, and we have some financial supporters that generously give their funding to make a lot of these projects possible. So that's why we wanted to do a free lunch for all the members this year. So, uh, and again, thank you. Cindy is here now, and thank you, Dave, for, uh, I don't know where he's hiding, but thank you for all your hard work in uh, preparing all this delicious food. So uh, if anybody has any questions, see Calvin. He is uh, sitting at the table there for operations, or you can come see me. And you know, if like, you want to see car barn or anything like that, just uh, let us know and we'll work something out. So thank you all for coming. Thank you. I don't need to tell you guys. Don't touch the roof. Oh man, that's Henry, Henry's orders. <laughs> There's someone there who could help us. This is where I am. We're going to keep on going. Daddy's going to We're going to be next to Daddy while he runs it, okay? Or, well, what do you think we could be next to him? Are you taking it in or out? I'm taking it out. Oh, it's right here. The password for the Wi Fi at the ticket booth.
How did you like it? <laughs> did, did you like the horn? <laughs> June 22nd, 22nd is a... This is awesome. Just the now, as you can see, I sat up front with uh, William and Justin operated. This thing has the nicest horn ever. could have something like this but you know what gives me a reason to come up here and ride this so I love it I love the horn Justin loves the horn and it's awesome so I got down to it on the outbound trip I was operating down I had to sit up here in the rain the dog and the bell because we don't have loops that rock
sunroof open to the windows came down. Does that make this car semi convertible? Oh, very good. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and five. Cows all the way out here. This is awesome. <laughs> what we do for good pictures. Oh, my God. 